Hello. Um, I just watched the Whitney Houston, um, Wendy Williams, uh, segment, and I want to say something very important. We know Wendy Williams is a character, a brand, an identity that she has. What was wonderful today is that we saw directly through Wendy Williams. And um, I used to listen to her a lot when she was on the radio on BLS. And I knew about her, um, her substance abuse addiction. I believe it was crack. And she had told details of how everything went down, her relapse, her withdrawal, etc., etc., and, um, it's so real, day to day what happens in the lives of people who lose people to substance abuse. No matter what the age is, I work at a treatment center for substance abuse, um, in adolescence, and also having worked at substance abuse treatment for older uh, persons and um, it's not addiction is not biased to any particular age group but you'll notice in the stories of the older ones that it starts somewhere when they're much younger and it always comes about with it started with alcohol marijuana and cigarettes those are the Right there, the, the three combo. That's usually a, a dominant factor in substance abuse. Um, and Wendy relates so well to to the struggle because it's not an easy process to, uh, to take oneself away from from their addiction because number one. They had relied on a substance for emotional, phys physical factors, um, emotional in the sense that to deal with every problem they had to escape the grim reality of what their day and day life consists consists of, which is pain, hurt, shame. Um, guilt from things that they've done in their past or, you know, or where they are right now. Shame of where they are in the sense of, you know, they might be homeless or just struggling. And physically, if they're addicted, their body's addicted to the chemicals. It's... A scary ride, especially if you have no one to help you in substance abuse when you're going through it because you tend to feel like you tend to feel isolated and alone. And it's actually something what happens is that when your family decides that they're no longer gonna enable you or give you, you know, some loose strength, but you just have to bite the bullet and deal with everything that you have to do. So if you are a young individual or an old person, wherever this video lands and um, you're struggling or you believe that you have a problem, I want you to contact. The resources are available. You could get help. There's help readily available for you. It's not going to come easy. Like anything in life that you want, it's not going to come easy. So, the first step is up to yours because no one could change anything about you but yourself. Okay? So, do it. There's many people behind you, including myself. If you want to talk about anything... Drop me a note, and I'll definitely guide you to resources as well. 
Alright, take care. Don't become a statistic.